guys, you know that at Conversations, it's all about bringing you alternatives in the car market and make sure that you get the best deals in town for the most reliable units. And today we have a new car. Or rather, okay, the, this car has been around for a while, but in the Kenyan market, the uptake has not been quite uh, huge. And this car might just be a very good alternative to many super minis that we have in the market, both price-wise, reliability-wise, and even in terms of fuel economy. In fact, as uh, the Nigerians would say, it will be another anger. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, because Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience, we are bringing you an up-close and candid review of the 2016 Suzuki Ignis. I'll be your host, the Canvasologist Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK. You can follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, we value your feedback. Uh, tell us what we, the super minis do you want to see on Conversations because very soon to now let us see Singine, Yagari, Zamkulima, Mdogo, and even get to do actual fuel tests. Remember, you can buy this car from conversations.africa plus other cars at very good deals. Well, who has made this episode possible? This car has been given to us by our good friends at uh, Caplicity Kiambu Road, by the way. Kama unataka kuwapigia to get the best deals out of these cars and other cars that they have on their stock list, kindly call David or uh, Kevin. Their numbers ziko hapa kwa description. Sawa sawa. Now, let's get up close and candid with the Suzuki Ignis. Ignis is uh, a compact hatchback that looks a bit like uh, the Suzuki Alto Any Charge. Yeah, the the side profile does resemble that of an Any Charge, but the front is sleek and it looks a bit sporty and unique as well. It is a car that will definitely be conspicuous, whether you're using it as an errand car or even as a car that you can, you know, use for business like online taxi. Well, uh, under the hood of the Ignis is uh, something that is very common. Uh, powering it up is a, a very common engine in Suzuki's lineup. But before I even open uh, up the hood, there is the hybrid badge at the sides of the Ignis. And I'm going to explain what kind of hybrid system the Ignis runs on. Now, the Ignis, this particular one, is powered by a 1200cc or 1 1.2-litre four-cylinder engine uh, that is naturally aspirated. It's uh, from Suzuki and it has been used in other cars like the Wagon R and some Suzuki Swifts as well. Um, now, this vehicle is hybrid, but we do not see any hybrid, uh, you know, any hybrid equipment under the hood like we would see in Hondas or in uh, Toyotas. Now, this one is a mild hybrid electric vehicle, meaning it runs on the engine as well as the engine is assisted by an electric motor. So it is not a full hybrid. And this is one of those hybrids that even if the battery pack fails, this car will not leave you stranded on the road. It will continue moving. What you're going to experience is little power loss and a little bit more fuel economy. Talking about fuel economy, this car can give you all the way uh, up to around 18, 19 kilometers to the liter. Mated to this engine and transferring power to the wheels, you can either get a five-speed manual, a five-speed uh, automated manual transmission like the one on the Peugeot or a CVT transmission. You get a variety of gearboxes to choose from. What about drive trades? You can either get it in uh, four-wheel drive and its four-wheel drive is the famous Suzuki's all-grip 4x4 system. Uh, or you can get it in two-wheel drive like this particular one. So now that, now that you are done with the engine and how, you know, it's a hybrid that will not leave you stranded in case the battery pack fails because it's a mild hybrid as I've told you. Let's head to the side profile. Why is this car unique and why will it be value for money if you're looking or shopping around for a super mini well one of those reasons is that it has a lot of equipment inside and number one you remember most other super minis are coming with rims amabati this one comes standard with 14 inch 
alloys then in the inside is where we get a lot of tech we have a very good infotainment system by the way you might think this is a very basic car but guess what it comes with lane departure assist anti-collision uh, systems it comes with a very good uh, infotainment system that consists of a touchpad Imagine in a basic vehicle. Basically, to try and sum it up, this car has technology that you would only find in, say, a Mazda Axela top trim. Now, there is also a very interesting feature. This car, I told you it's fully loaded banner. It has tech you not expect in this car. This is the Ignis. 360 surround camera and you can see you can be able to maneuver this car through this camera and remember this is not aftermarket this is actual suzuki ignis it came like this from the factory so you can also if you're if you're assuming you're going for a ride at paipu pipeline na barabara ni mbaya you can look see ile kwenda ukiangalia gari kama unanyonyesha you can actually get to have the view of the road ahead through this camera then blind spot on the left you can also get the whole view on the left hand side from this other side of the camera so these are some of the little luxuries that come with the suzuki Ignis. This car is very spacious. It has a lot of headroom and also a lot of legroom. Why is this? How was Suzuki able to achieve that in such a compact car? Remember, I told you that this car is built on a platform that is shared with the Suzuki Wagon R. It is called Suzuki's Hatect uh, platform. So it's basically designed like an MPV. And if you remember on the Mitsubishi Expander review, I told you that MPVs are designed to have lower floors so that they can accommodate more people and give enough headroom. So this one is a low floor. And now this brings on another unique selling point of the Suzuki Ignis. Uh, when you're buying a car in Kenya, ground clearance is a very, very, very important aspect. So on this one, you do not even have to install aftermarket springs to achieve good ground clearance. On the rear, it's a very, very practical car. It might not have much boot space, but you can always adjust the seats. And that's the other unique selling point of this car. Right here, it does look a bit like its smaller brother, the Alto Anycharge, but the space inside is nothing unlike the Anycharge. This is a car that anyone would buy if you're sourcing for a car that is uh, at the price tag of 1 million and below because it's a car that is reliable, economical and will give you uh, value for money in terms of space and versatility uh, of a car that will be used both for personal uh, for personal errands and business use as well. Now let's uh, take a ride with the boys on this car so that we can tell you one, two, three things. We, let's see if they get to like the car and their sentiments. We're also going to do an acceleration test as well as Award this car a conversations team score. So I say, yes, a hybrid that you do not have to worry about failing batteries. Yes, stylish This is a very nice car, my friend. A very compact. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is the car that people should be looking forward to yes. in the Kenyan market right now. Yes. Hey. Suzuki? Yeah. Ignis. Ignis. Hey. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in love with this car. Okay. I, I've never, have you seen the tech of this car? Yeah. Actually, yes. that is one very unique thing about this car. Forget about the looks and everything. Yes. The tech. Uh -huh. You have lane departure. Yes. You have 360. It's around camera. Yes. In 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 an economy, in a Touch screen. In the system. system. You can have Bluetooth. Mention all the modes of connection. Eco up and Eco up. My friend. I tell you, I'm doing ground clearance. It has better clearance than a Suzuki Swift. <laughs> styling, interior styling, Wakabi. You see the dual tone going on? Yes. Black on beige. Mm -hmm. Ah. Also, ah. collision sensors, pale yes. yes. Collision, anti-collision ah, anti -collision system, system Iko. Bello na nyuma. Hey. Well, idling stop. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is a very well specced. <laughs> Me, I'm in love with this car, Kabi. I'm in love with this car, and she she drives like a queen. Yeah. Eh? In this small car. Eh? Yeah. So, 
there is not much to talk about this car away from the fact that it's a very nice well specced car the interior feels very nice yes it's plastic but it's good plastic it's an economy car so apa katika styling inaendelea hapa hii ni kama nini wa kabila iko na switches ina car zile za Ford Mustang bas you know by the way it looks like a master amo we switch hapa AC ni nini Ford Mustang ama Mercedes ama Mercedes yes pretty nice USB pale 12 volt pale 120 watts Look what they are behind. Hapa nyuma hapa here behind. Legroom sufficient check. <laughs> check. Do you realize how much this car is? In the head room. Yes. Hello Ibrahim, we need to chocha. Ah 62. Eh? Unaweza kala Ibrahim ngine hapo juu. Uko na ujinga. Yes. And also uh, yes, it has a small boot space, but if you want to increase your boot space, unaweza vuta hii kiti mbele. It can slide mbele na nyuma and you will have your sufficient boot space pale nyuma. But it's a kadudu so yes. for me all that is is um, that is good but yes. there is a deal breaker in this car yes well you might see the badging hybrid mm-hmm. but uh, this is not a full hybrid yes it's what, it's what is called a mild hybrid electric vehicle or a mild hybrid yeah mhgv mm-hmm. uh, well it's the, the hybrid um, in on it eh? yes. like the e power mm-hmm. Uh, this one it's only that the electric motor works in tandem with mm-hmm. the, the engine, engine. Huh? yeah so that is why it's a, it, it, it assists ah, it's, it's so basically assist- an assisted hybrid w- oh so the engine assists the hybrid system yes the electric system to move this car exactly fantastic so that is what gives you better fuel economy mm-hmm. but it's basically 1200 cc Uh, so you, you p- people think that it's a 1300 and one thing one funny thing is that the Ignis is not new. Ah. The Ignis has been there since the 90s. But in the Kenyan market, yes, wasi hawajaichukua. So guys can might ask what about the the fuel? Not the fuel. The parts. Yes. He gari bana wagonar chini. Kila kitu. Imetengenezwa on that platform that Suzuki called the Hatec. Ah. So it's basically and a lot of Suzuki Swift also going down. So cross platform your parts na Suzuki Swift. Na Suzuki Swift uh, wagon uh, wagon ah. Service ni gari unaingia kwa petrol station. Unapiga service. Unapiga service. Ah. Take care. He hybrid kifail, at a hybrid system kifail. The engine is still moving the damn car. <laughs> the only thing you are going to experience is little power loss. Ah. But sasa power kwa hii gari unatafuta nini? Exactly. Did But you tell them that your speedo is rated at 200 km? That's the theoretical. That's but, but again it indicates yeah. just the amount of we hit some good numbers with this car okay. You won't mention on camera. Okay, But, let's can we try do a 0 to 100? Yes. We want to see how the Ignis it has a, it has a good Ignis. name Ignis. Uh, Wakabi. Yes. I am ready for you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And one, two, three, go. Okay. She starts off a little bit not happy, but, but along the way up. she takes it. The Ignis takes, takes it home. The Ignis takes it home. The Ignis takes it home. The RPM. The Ignis hybrid. 15 seconds for the Ignis. It's faster than the RPM. Definitely. The RPM is nothing. It's it's it takes the same speed as which other car which which yes, is yes, yes, Adidas Pro Box territory. Yes, the Pro Box the one with 1300 cc four wheel drive the Pro Box is in 15 seconds. So we, we are we are looking at the same timeline, right? Yes. Uh, but Suzuki, Suzuki, Suzuki is, uh, is the next big but we are going to say another banger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, there, there are a few things that we I don't like. <laughs> one it's actually one but i expect it in a budget car the road noise it has so much to road noise. yes the the outside is is full inside but but you yeah. see yes for me i can blame for me i can blame that road noise on the tires oh the types of tires because yes you see this one or even the the texture of the asphalt mm-hmm. you see this one if we go slowly or if we change the texture of the asphalt you yes. or the um, ilalami mm-hmm. 
you you will feel that difference but it's not as much as that of the rv no no rv ni kama unaendeshia nje ya to review and start team score team score bubwa team score yes for me this is a very practical guy ticks all the boxes yes me i don't know why i won't give it a 10 maybe a 9.9 because you can't score everything but for me it's a 9.9 then cuz tangi kukrushia my but it's a really nice car it has it has the it has the good driving thrill apa nyuma uko na sufficient leg room the as much as don't have much uh, boot space I've given you a trick you can use to increase your space it's a really nice car for me 9.9 from Bugua. For me I'll give this car 10 over 10 or Kabi. Sianza kudanganyana. Hiyo road noise for a budget car if you're buying a car less than 1 million Zoya road noise. Zoya 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 your sauti bana. Zoya your sauti. So get used to the road noise. It, it's not much you can live with it. There are cars that are worse yes. than this one that people and more drive, expensive and more expensive. expensive. So for me it's it's one of the most fantastic small compact I don't know how to call this hatchback or is it a kadudu or whatever it is yeah. to ever drive and it's a and good alternative city. for so many cars yes it is fantastic 10 over 10 okabi tumeongea vitu mzuri ya igari just finish it off for me i'll Ego give do. this car for a budget car first of all the price priced in at 1 million at capacity yes so that is uh, one price point because imagine it's going with for the same price as a paso you can imagine we go for a paso we go for a paso in the first place you know so i'll give this car a 10 out of 10 it's fuel economical it has a hybrid system that will not uh, fail, fail you yes uh, it has decent power figures kana mm-hmm. kana enda enda okay it's below 100 horsepower but it it's, a, it's an economy car these these are proper errands car ata tunafaa tununue tuonge na devia makevo capacity yes nuaka gari ka officer errands i agree with you yes it yes. was good looking I'll, and it's good looking yes. yes although people say that our looks are okay yeah, 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 this, yeah, this one is good looking kwanza mbele yeah. it looks very sporty very nice yeah so it's uh, for me i'll give it a 10 let's just be generous so and that is ignis a 10 29.9 yes. which is literally a 30 that, or 30 you round it off to the value for money value for money bwana okapi the ignis is a very practical small car you see we have uh, put mbugwa inside as well as the our you know our equipment box and it can fit perfectly however you can increase the boot space or decrease it by basically adjusting the seats but for a, for such a compact hatchback this is enough uh, space right this is enough space you can haul in some at least decent luggage if you're using it for taxi you can fit in a suitcase so you do not have to you know worry so much about space and that's why i'm saying the the Ignis is an all in one package. Now, let's talk about value for money. If you're buying the Ignis from Caplicity, it's going to set you back around 1 million Kenya shillings. And 1 million Kenya shillings, what are, what can it buy you? Probably uh, a Honda Fit is going for 1.4 million Kenya shillings. Uh, a Suzuki Swift is going for above 1.1 1.2 million Kenya shillings. So if you are working with a budget, then the Ignis gives you value for money in terms of fuel economy because it's an assisted hybrid. Uh it also gives you a little bit of practicality and space and a lot of headroom. It also gives you a uh, very good reliability cred because Suzuki does not go wrong with their small engines. I, so it's a car that I would term as complete value for money. What do you think about the Suzuki Ignis? Do tell us on our social media platforms, conversations on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And even if it rains, we are still going to bring you content. Amana yes. mnagan. Yes. Eh. Twende home, twende home. I hope people watch this video and subscribe. Yes. Because we are suffering. <laughs>